Hey guys and welcome back to my channel Z here and today we're going to take we're going to be taking a look at the latest version of Skype. So recently Microsoft redid Skype. It looks completely different now. So if you guys aren't familiar with the previous version of Skype, this is a brand new version of Skype. This is the latest. I think it was released June 20th. So anyway, let me go ahead and get started. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and sign into my account. That's going to ask me for my password. I'm going to type in my password and I'm going to show you the main screen. I'm going to take you through the basics and then I'm going to try to get into more detail. But first things first, I'm just going to show you around the latest version, everything of that sort. So I'm going to maximize this. You can go ahead and connect your address book if you wanted to do that. And then you can verify your phone number. So if, pe if you wanted people to find you based off your phone number, then you would go ahead and verify your phone number by clicking verify number. And then I guess it would ask you for your number. So you would type in your number and then you would do next, next, and then follow all those steps. But I'm not going to do that in this video. But if you guys want to, you can go ahead and do that. So this is the navigation pane. So this is maximized and this is minimized and you just see the icons there. So you have recent conversations, which takes you to this screen right here. I haven't spoken to anybody recently, so I don't have anybody there. Also, this is a brand new Skype account for the sake of this video. So I don't really have any contacts. If you guys wanted to add me, you can go ahead. Feel free to add me. My name is Z Was. So that's how you spell it right there. Okay, guys. So next thing under the the recent contacts you do have the right the contacts so this is where you can go ahead and add contacts if you want to add a contact you would simply just click on this buddy this this uh buddy icon right here with the plus i know i call it a buddy icon i guess i'm just back in the aol instant messenger days so you could go ahead and search the person you're looking to add and then it would search the directory. So if you knew the name of the person that you were looking to add, you would simply type in the name and it should find it within the Skype directory. So you can either type in their email address, you can type in their Skype name and um, that would that should find the name, their contact in the, in the directory. So I'm just going to look for one of my other accounts here just to give you guys an idea. And here we go. Here's one of them that I found. And uh, I can basically, I have the option now right underneath their name to add to contacts. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, add to contacts. And now I've now added them to contacts, which I do need to wait for them to accept it so that I can contact so that they can, so that I can contact them. Sorry. So that, because otherwise I can't really, I can't really speak to them. I mean, it doesn't give me that option to type in a message. So messages is off now as you can see so I do need to wait until this person shares their contact in details with me and then basically just accepts my request and then I'm able to speak to them so I just went ahead and accepted the friend request on the other account and now I'm able to type whatever I wanted to so I just wrote and now I'm gonna write from my other account so let's write a message hey what's up and I just responded with Hey, what's up? Well, I, I misspelled it, but that's okay. Now I have the option to call. So I can click on the video call and that would video call the other account. Okay, so I just placed the call, but the webcam wasn't working properly. So I'm just going to scratch that for now. But it all, it all works. If you did want to place a video call, you would simply click on this video icon right here. And then this is just for the call. This is just for a call without video. And this is to create a group. So if you wanted to have a group calling, you would just add more Skype contacts into this conversation right here. And then you can have a nice group video call or a regular, uh, regular call without video. So like the previous versions, you do have certain things that you can do in a Skype conversation. So you can send contacts to your Skype uh, to your Skype contact. So if you wanted to share a contact, um, you would, I guess, type in whichever other contact you had. And then you would basically click on send and it should share that contact in there in this chat box. Next thing you can do is you can send a video message. So if you click on that, it would right now my webcam is not working. It's not on. But if if it was on, I can go ahead and record a video message and then send that to my contact who I'm speaking to right now, which is this guy. 
If I wanted to send a file, I would simply click on this right here, send file. If I wanted to send an image, I would click on send image. And I would find an image that I want to send. So for example, let's say I want to send that image. Go ahead and send it, and now it's sent. No, I already sent it. Uh, same thing with file. Again, I just didn't click on it. Um, I would just find the file that I want to send. Let's send a sketch, for example. Okay, it's already sent. And emojis, the popular famous emojis. So I have all these emojis to choose from. I got the smiley faces. I got these right here. Go ahead. I really send, I, oh, I can send some video messages. I really must have a word with you. Interesting. And you can you even have you even have that option to buy the movie, and then I guess you can watch it. So that's really cool. That's um. That's, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> that's funny. So yeah, you have all that all that good stuff, and uh, you can go ahead and mess around with it, play around with that, and uh, you can go ahead and have fun. Okay, so now that we have that covered, we're going to go back to the navigation pane right here, and we're just going to finish with it. So we have the bots right here underneath, and if you want to speak to some of the bots that you have here, I don't use this, but maybe you guys might use it. You have the UPS, you could check, uh, check tracking, you could check movie times. I don't know, so many different things here. I, I've not really used them, and uh, I just don't find... I just use Google, so I, I find these kind of unnecessary. I mean, back in like 2000, maybe I would use them, but just I, I just kind of find them useless, so I don't really use them. Now, below that, we do have the um, send feedback. So if you wanted to send feedback to Microsoft, then you would just click on this and it would open up a web browser. So it wouldn't open up the web browser. It would give you an option to look for an app in the App Store. And if you go ahead and click on that and click OK, you get the feedback hub. So you would have to download that and I guess you can add feedback that way. So below that we have this question mark right here, which opens up a new tab. So let's just close this here and it does show me, it does show me here if you want to ask some questions if I want to ask some questions or if I want to contact the Skype support team or if I just want to send feedback or help improve Skype support. So if you did have any messages, you wanted to leave some feedback, maybe you're not too happy with the new design, you can go ahead and leave feedback to Microsoft and I'm sure they'll read it. So I'm just going to close this up for now. We'll go back to this tutorial. This, this over here below the... Um, question mark this is the gear icon and this is where you mess around with the settings so I'm not gonna get into that right now I'm gonna go through that a little bit later but this is where you mess around with some of the settings so if you did want to mess with some of the settings like your webcam your microphone you would go th you would do it through here through this gear icon and then the last thing in the navigation pane is the is basically where you add a profile picture you update your status or if you just want to set a mood, tell people what you're thinking or doing or whatever, kind of like a Facebook post, and you would do it here. And here is where you add a phone number. So if you wanted people, if you wanted to have a phone number, so say you had your account name, your Skype name, and you wanted people to see your phone number, then you would type it in here and it would post it so that everybody on Skype could see it. All your contacts, all your contacts will be able to see it. Okay, so below that we have the Skype credit. So if you wanted to add Skype credit to call landlines, then you would do it from here. Or you can just add a subscription type of thing. I'm not really going to get into that now. And if you wanted to sign out, you would simply just click on sign out and that would sign you out of the Skype account. So now if you guys did want to add a profile picture, again, you would click on this icon right here, the camera. You can either update one from a profile, from a webcam, sorry, or you could, uh, I guess these are the two webcams I use, or you could just update one from your computer. So I'm just going to click on, you know what, let me update, let me click on this one right here, just to show you guys. I'm going to click on save, and now that is my profile picture. So we basically just covered all the basics of Skype. We went through the navigation pane, we went through recent conversations, we went through contacts, we went through bots. Send feedback, help, settings, and your Skype name, your Skype account with the profile, changing the profile picture, adding Skype credit, and all the, all the regular stuff. 
This is very straightforward. If you guys don't want to add, if you wanted to add Skype credit, you would just simply click on that. It would ask you how much Skype credit you would, you do you want? Uh, there is obviously a minimum, so you would have to obviously choose the minimum, or you can go higher than that. So guys, that is going to be it for this video. I'll get into the settings more into the settings in part two of this of this uh, tutorial. I guess I'll make a part two because I did go over the ten minute mark. So I'll make a part two and. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, wait for the part two. So that's going to be it. If you guys did find this video helpful, please do hit that thumbs up button. It does help me out a lot. And uh, if you do want to see more content like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.